Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant house flipper on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we worked on Rob the Priest's man cave. And I am very, very happy with how this turned out. I was a little bit iffy about this room at first. But now that it's finished, I really do love the look of this room. It's probably my second favourite room overall. But we've got a nice little gaming area over here where Rob the Priest can get on his gaming PC and play some of the best games in 4K 120fps. We've also got some nice sandproofing on the wall just to make it look like a nice little cool area. And also if he decides to play any of these uh, video games online and he's got his headset on and he doesn't want any background noise to be coming through his headset, he's also got some nice sandproofing on the wall. And if he ever decides to start busting out a guitar solo for some weird reason, he also has sandproofing in his room so it won't annoy the neighbours. We've also got a nice little TV set up over here with the consoles, the internet, some very nice big speakers. And we've also got a nice little uh, fridge over here where he can keep his cider and obviously a remote control for the TV. I didn't actually put a video game, um, a console controller on the fridge, so uh, I should have probably have done that. Maybe I'll do that at the end of the video. We've got a few nice posters, a nice big neon sign saying relax, and a very, very nice bed. But what we're going to be working on today is we are going to be working on the Macabre Gamers bedroom. Now, I'm pretty sure the Macabre Gamer requested a very rustic room with wooden furniture, lots of rugs, and also some cactuses. Now, that's given me a very, very good idea. I've got a very good idea in my head that would probably make this look like a very sort of Texas or Australian themed kind of room. But what I have in my head doesn't always translate very well into House Flipper. Well, one thing I think um, Frozen District should do, if you're watching this Frozen District, I think you should do this, but one thing you could do is you should add user-generated content into the PC and the console versions because there would be so many new things just put into the game by the community. It would save you guys and girls so much work and it would put so many different designs into the game, you'd be able to do anything that you wanted to do. Sort of like Animal Crossing New Horizons. The amount of user-generated content in that game now, you could do anything with your island that you just cannot do with the Nintendo-created stuff. So you should do that. You should stick out some user-generated uh, system into the game, Frozen District. I've got no idea how difficult that is to do. Obviously, you'd have to moderate it so people don't start doing naughty shit, but I think that'd be a pretty good idea. But yeah, let's, um, let's get into it. Let's close the door. So, oh, also, one thing I did forget to do in the last video, uh, poor old Rob the Priest is going to be freezing his balls off at the moment, but we need to put some sort of uh, air conditioning, maybe above the uh, door, we need to install some air conditioning to keep this room warm, because as you can see, there isn't any... Actually, we might be able to build a radiator over there. I was expecting to put a wardrobe there. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish up uh, the Macabre Gamers room first, and then we'll try and install some radiators if possible. If not, we'll get some air conditioning and we'll just put it on the heat mode. <laughs> right, let's have a look then. Um, obviously, we have to start off with the walls and the floors. The walls will be the ones that are... The walls are always very difficult. Depending on what you request from me, that can determine how difficult the walls are. Mind you, Rob the Priest's room, I was expecting that to be difficult, and that ended up looking... Amazing. That brick wall really looked good. Something that looks quite rustic and like wooden. I mean, I could, we could put wood panels on the wall, but... Uh, I suppose we, if we have... Well, these are two different kinds of brand, aren't they? Dark coloured narrow panels. Pack of dark coloured medium panels. Let me, uh, let me, I've got an idea actually, let me, uh, let me see how this will look. I need to see if these are actually different colours, because at the moment, they look exactly the flipping same. And I can't even remember which one I bought. Oh yeah, these are slightly darker. Yeah, this could be okay actually. I might have to get another pack of each of them first, let me just get another pack. I'm probably buying way too many, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Sort of like when you go to B&Q because you plan on doing a job in your house. You always buy more than you need. But B&Q, 
uh, in my experience, have always been top blokes. If I've bought too much of something and I want to take it back and get a refund, they've always been happy to do it. They've never been like, oh, you need to have, we'll give it back to you in store credit, or they've not refused to refund me. As long as it's not been opened, they've given me a refund. So, uh, big shout out to B&Q. I flippin' love B&Q. The smell of B&Q, it just smells like man, doesn't it? It just smells like man. Right, so what I'm thinking about doing is similar to what we did in uh, Keely New One's Romantic Room. This wall over here will, I don't know if we should make it light or dark. I think we'll make that wall light and then the rest of the room will be dark. Because a bit more of a dark wood, is, it looks a bit nicer I think. And then we're going to have, uh, yeah I've got an idea. I don't know how well this is going to go, it might go horrendously, but we'll give it a go. I mean I was, uh, I was having second thoughts with uh, Rob the Priest's room and that ended up looking very nice actually. These always look so different when they're on the floor compared to how they look on the wall. Like, how the hell does that look like this? I mean, it's not even close to looking the same. Aggravating as hell, ain't it? Oh, there would be one left, wouldn't there? There would bloody be one left. Oh, sweet! You could, I didn't know you could do that. You could stack them on top of others. Can you stack like them on top of them? Oh no, <laughs> there's a limit to how much you can stack. Obviously into stacks of like, I think it's like 16 or something. Okay, right, this one should be a lot darker then. It, it, what the, they're not even any different. They're the same flipping colour basically. <laughs> okay, well we'll finish off the room and then I think we'll change this wall over here into a different kind of wood. But these are basically the same. Was it like a different like design? Oh yeah, this one's got many many lines, many stripes, and this one's only got like three. Yeah, that's the difference. Just the grain is different in the wood. That's all that's different really. Okay, I thought maybe it'd be a bit darker. Oh well. The thing is though, a lot of the ideas I've got in my head at the moment for uh, the Macabre Gamers room is um, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel like I need to place a lot of things but I feel like it's going to look like a really old man kind of room and uh, I don't think the Macabre Gamer is an old bloke, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, well I don't actually know, like 30s or 40s, so uh, yeah he's not an old bloke so uh, I've got to be careful with the choices I make because this might end up looking like a really old man kind of room, <laughs> so I'm trying to, oh shit I picked up the wrong, yeah I picked up the wrong bloody packet. So what is it, this one? There we go. That one? I think it's this one. <laughs> my god, my, my flipping character in this game must have the biggest flipping hamstrings, thigh muscles and shit known to mankind because the amount of squatting I keep keep doing in this game is ridiculous. <laughs> keep pressing circle by mistake. Okay, right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're going to change this wall over here just because it isn't exactly what I wanted it to be. I mean, it looks basically the same. You can sort of notice it's a bit different if you really look, but if you were just to have a quick glance around, you wouldn't even notice. Let's have a look what other kinds of wood there is. Can you, like, change... You can't even change the colour, can you? Do I want to have, like, a white... A white... What, or maybe... Or some white pan. Pretty much brown, white, and dark brown. This is not going to look how I want it to look at all. Oh, shit. No, no, that's a bad idea. I'm going to have to buy more, and I? Oh, no, this is all right.
Alright, that's alright. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, now it's the floor. This one shouldn't be as bad. This one should be pretty easy. After we're finished with the Macabre Gamers room, we're going to have to start working on most likely the bathroom because that's the only other room left. And once that room's done, then it's just like painting all the walls in the rest of the house and uh, putting in furniture and stuff like the living room, the kitchen and all that good stuff. But we also need to do the outside of the garage because outside of this room, it's just basically bits of grass that has overlapped into the garage and also um, a load of white walls and cinder blocks. So we need to paint out there as well. Right, I guess we want to go with wooden floors as well. I want something a bit more... Yeah, that'll be alright. So, oh I hope this looks as how I want it to look. I mean, it already doesn't look how I want it to look, but that's just because they don't have those options available in the game. very wooden. Definitely got a wooden theme to it. Now I already know the perfect bed to get. This is a proper manly bed. This bed is like f fucking made out of bear skins or something, which obviously I'm not a fan of being an absolute animal lover, but in terms of it just looking like rough, it, it does look rough. You'd expect like a flipping viking to be sleeping in a bed like this. I might have, there it is, look, double bed teddy. Oh no, it isn't, it isn't, um, I thought it was a bear skin for some reason when I first played this. That is a pretty... Oh, I mean, I like how it looks. It's got a rustic look to it, but it also looks like a homeless guy's bed. You change the bed sheets, it just makes everything better, see? <laughs> just by changing the colour, it makes things better. Let me change the pillows. Yeah, you've got to at least have white pillows. I can't have you laying on that, because look at that. God knows what those pillows have been through, but you can't be laying on that. I mean, you might like how that looks, but I'm, I'm not allowing it. I can't. <laughs> We've got to have it like this. I clicked on buy many again. Oh, that really fits the room, though, in terms of colour. As always, it's going to be a bit cramped in here. Just a word of warning. If you hear my phone go crazy in this video... Uh, my little cousin at the moment is sending me many, 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 many TikTok videos. No idea why, but she's sending me many. So, uh, and I think I forgot to put my phone on silent. So, um, yeah, if you if you do hear my phone go nuts, I do apologise. Um, now, I'm going to quickly do the rugs because I, I should have probably have done that before. What does that come under? There is a section for rugs, ain't there? Might come under decorations. There we go. Holy, oh look at that. I pour you doormat. Oh look at that. That's adorable. We need to get one of those bad boys on the uh, on the door. Or that one right there. I like that. I mean there's not really much point in getting a very pretty doormat because you just wipe your bloody feet on it. Oh shit, look at that. <laughs> That's what every one of our grandmas have had. Every one of your, if you've got a great grandma or a, or a, just a grandma or a great great grandma, some of you might be lucky enough to have a great great grandma, depending on how quick your uh, parents and their grandparents uh, have had kids and that. You might even have a great great grandparent alive, but one of them's got to have one of these bad boys in the house. At least one of them has to. It's like the law of being an old person. Like when I get old, I'm just going to buy one just to let everyone know I'm old. I'll show you all if I'm still doing YouTube. I doubt YouTube will even exist by then. With how YouTube is going, I'm surprised if it'll make it to 2030 with these stupid decisions they keep making. There'll be no one left on this platform. Which means no competition for me. <laughs> Might actually get some fucking viewers then. Might work out. Oh, look at that. Uh, you want one of these bad boys? I mean, come on. You've got to have one of these in here, Maccabi Gamer. Come on, look at it. I'm going to make it look like an old man's house at this rate. It does fit, though. It does fit. I mean, ah, I like, I like the theme of this room. I'm just not sure if it's what he would want. This is the kind of game I should have live streamed. I have said it so many times that I want to live stream. I just, I don't really want to live stream on Twitch because I just don't like Twitch. I don't like some of the choices they make. They're just as irritating as YouTube, but in even more annoying ways. But, um, 
it would be good to do t uh, Twitch just for something like this. I don't know I can live stream on YouTube, but I think it's just better to live stream on Twitch. I think it's like better tools. Ugh. Feel free to unsubscribe if you don't like this room. <laughs> Feel free to unsubscribe. Uh, right. I've just got such an urge to buy him a rocking chair and an old-fashioned string guitar now. <laughs> that's all that's in my head. We've got to get you a TV in here, though. That's one thing. Like, this is going to look really weird because we're going to have this really, like, rustic-looking old bloke's room. But then we're going to have, like, a, a, a bloody... I've got to have a... a I don't know, I don't think the Macabre Gamer does PC gaming, but we've got to at least have a TV in here and a console. I could probably stick the TV right here. Let me have a look. Let me just jump on the bed. Hopefully my feet ain't muddy, because this is a brand new bed. Let me get a, um, a TV quickly. Obviously a wall-mounted TV. I've never had a wall, well, my sister's got a wall-mounted TV, but I've never had one. I don't trust putting a TV of, of any kind of value up on the wall. Because if it's just put up slightly wrong and that fucker falls down, oh, no way. Especially the more slim TVs you get nowadays, the 4K ones, they're not as sturdy. Those big box TVs, as long as they didn't land on the front glass bit, they were sturdy gits, but the more modern TVs, uh, I don't know. It's like they won't smash and shatter and all that, but they just break internally. Oh, look at that. That fits in there very sexily, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, come on. We've got to have to turn it off now. That ruins the room. There you go. You can lay in your bed, and that, and you can play on your uh, your PlayStation uh, your PlayStation Five. Okay. Right. Before we do anything else, oh, actually, I've got a sweet idea. Sort of getting a bit of inspiration from uh, Keely New One's uh, room at the moment. Going to get a wooden shelf, and we're going to have like a little collection of cactuses on it. Brown coffee. Ugh. No way. Ugh. Beige. Oh, it's too too dark. We need... Oh, here we go. That's what we wanted. We get a couple of these bad boys. How do they look? Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's what we needed. I want to pull it above the bed because uh, you don't want to wake up and smack your head in the uh, when you wake up in the morning. Okay. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the sizes of the cactuses are like. I know there's a really big one, but I think there's. I think there's some small ones. Uh, what does it come under? It's decorations, plants, and then. Oh. I don't know. I know I to, uh, they do have cactuses, didn't they? Ah, oh, there we go. That's a cactus right there. Oh, that, that's a little cactus as well. That's a cactus. Those things are quite prickly. Oh, here we go. Fuck me. That's the most generic cactus you can get. Right, let's get some of these bad boys. Uh, what should we make the pot? Gold. Gold, I guess. Just to match, like, the sand that the cactus would be in. I suppose. Let's get some of these bad boys. Nice little cactus collection. I had a friend at school, uh, a, a girl, like a girlfriend, like not a girlfriend in that way, but a girlfriend, and uh, she used to love cactuses. She used to have these little bad boys in her room. I'm making it sound worse now. A girlfriend uh, in her room. She was my girlfriend at one point, but um, only for only I was like 11, so uh, not like a proper girlfriend. How do I jump? Square. There we go. I'm digging the hole even further now, aren't I? <laughs> Not a girlfriend. Well, she was a girlfriend once. Oh, I was in her bedroom. I'm just making it sound really bad now, aren't I? Ah. <laughs> nah, nothing like that. But she had a nice uh, cactus collection. And a, and a snail. A big snail as a pet. There we go. Right, let's have a look at some of the other cactuses that you can get. I want to get a nice big, big cactus in the room as well, but it would depend on the room. You want to oh, look, roses. Oh, we've got to stick those in Keely's new, uh, new uh, <laughs> Keely new one's room as well. Where's that light? 
that thin one. There we go. That's a cactus, ain't it? Look at that. Looks like the cactus from uh, Plants vs. Zombies. If you've never played Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I recommend it. That game is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I flipping love that game. Okay, well, we'll stick one over here. I want to leave a bit of room for the radiator, though. Jesus. This is this is a very uh, very American sort of looking room at the moment. Okay, uh, should we get it? Maybe get some of these. I suppose they are. No, they're not. Hmm. Is that small? That's a cactus as well. Let me have a look. <laughs> Come on, Frozen District. We need more little plow, a little flower, a little cactuses. Come on. If I do a bad job, you might unsubscribe. Come on. Be playing that. Right, we'll get we we'll get some uh, we we'll get some of them. I just like how these look. And they are somewhat like uh, prickly, aren't they? They've got those like really pointy leaves. There we go. Nice little uh, cactus collection. Because we don't have weed in this house because we're good boys. So we've got a nice little cactus instead. Maybe we smoke cactus. <laughs> Some good shit. Okay. Right. Nah. Um, now we need like some sort of... I might have to just have a look at the options. We need like a little wooden sort of cupboard that we can stick things on top of. Furniture. Maybe the living room. We might not want to look at bedroom for this one. Oh, look at that! Whoa! That is a nice sofa. That's a new, that's definitely a new one. I thought I said a tobacco cabinet then. I was going to say, Jesus. Don't want nothing like that. Oh, there we go. Cabinets, that's what we want. It will depend on how big this is, but this might be alright. Shit. We're going to have a lot of trouble finding one to slot in that little gap. We already know that that bad boy is huge. Oh, here we go. This might be alright. Oh, why is it... Let me change the colour of it. Yeah, we might have to have a look on the bedroom stuff. This might be okay. No, no, the silver doors ruin it. Ah, oh, this could work. Come on, come on, come on, that's it. Look at that is, oh yes, we've got to change the color first, but that is nice. Ah, oh, that, oh yes. <laughs> that was made to be placed there. Look, perfectly, perfectly square near it. Well, a little bit more to the uh, left, I think it is, maybe, slightly. Okay, right, now we've got to get the um, the console. Um, where, what are we looking for? Electronic equipment. I'm also going to put a, uh, a freezer, not freezer, a fridge next to your bed as well, so you can also keep your ciders and stuff in the uh, fridge. And also I'll place your uh, TV remote and I'll get you a, a controller and I'll have to go and quickly put one in um, Robert Priest's room as well. Got a webcam there, I miss you. That's, that's, very, that's very depressing that is, especially with everything that's going on in the world at the moment. Everyone's having to talk to each other through Skype and Zoom and Facebook and all these other things and you've got a webcam called I miss you. <laughs> That's depressing. Oh, look at the size of that bad boy. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. 
Okay. I'll get I'll get the console brushing, just because then it's a bit different. All right, now we need some speakers. I think I've already gone past. I want to get uh, different ones to that. I don't want to get like the exact same thing. Oh, there we go. Got these bad boys. to grab quickly just because I mean I've got no idea if uh, the Macabre Gamer plays guitar I mean he has a beard and I think you just automatically learn how to play the guitar when you've got a beard if you want to learn to play a guitar just grow a beard and I think you just naturally gain the ability so we'll get one of these oh I like that photo Oh, it's leaning against the door. Okay, I don't like it anymore now. <laughs> it makes it look like we've got a second door in the room. Okay. I need to put something behind me. We might be, might be able to get him a wardrobe. There's your guitar. Sweet. All right. So over here, we could probably get like a nice big wardrobe. I feel like this room might be a little bit bigger, possibly. I feel like we've got a bit more room in here. I know what one I want to get. I think it was this bad boy. Right colour as well. Look at that. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We get some nice pictures on the wall over there that suit the theme of the room. Oh, I also need to get the uh, the remote as well. Uh I guess it comes under electronic equipment, doesn't it? Oh, actually, first things first. Yeah, it's like, uh, we'll just pretend it's a PS4 control. I mean, it's got the analog sticks in the right place. We all know the Xbox and the uh, Nintendo Pro Controller have the analog stick up there, which I've never liked. I've never liked that ever. But um, we'll keep it blue. We have to keep it blue anyway to match up with uh, Rob the Priest's room. Put a controller over here. You reach for a beer and you reach for your controller. Let's quickly stick one in here. There you go, lovely. Okay, what else do I need? A TV remote. Ooh, maybe I should have got these speakers in here. Oops. Yeah, they stay, they've got the right colour to them. Oh man, they're a bit puny though, aren't they? I kind of think I prefer the other two now. I need to bring them forward a bit more. Let's grab a remote. Lovely jubbly. Okay, now let's have a look at some of the uh, pictures for the wall. See if there's a picture of a cactus. Actually, I think there is a picture of a cactus. Um. First things first. Mm. 
As we've got a bit of room now, we can stick one of these here. There you go. All right. Think outside of the box. And then the writing goes outside of the box. Very nice, very nice. We're getting to the more green pictures now. Nah, I guess there isn't. Oh, a picture of a dirt road. That could be nice. Is there anything else we need in this room? We've got the TV, we've got the place for the clothes, we've got a bed. Oh crap, we ain't done a lot, we ain't done the installations, have we? I was wondering, it was something that I knew we had to bloody do, I couldn't think what it was. As always, I'll get the same light switch. Where's it gone? There it is. I'll buy this bad boy. Quickly grab the usual plug sockets that we always get. Right. One over here for the mobile phone. There we go. And now all we need is uh, a light. And then I'll quickly do the installations in both the rooms and then I'll quickly put a radiator in. I fucking press the wrong button all the time. Must resist not putting a very old person kind of light in here. I mean, I want to stick one of these in here because I just think this will look good. How is that pink? How is that? P now what is pink about that? <laughs> I like that though. There we go. I, th I think it looks all right. I mean, I'm not completely happy with it because it's a, it's a kind of idea where I'm limited by the options that are available in this game. But I think I think it turned out somewhat okay. I'm going to quickly um, stick a radiator in both of these rooms. Right, I'll be able to put one here, and I think we might be able to get one in here as well, round over here. Ah, oh, brilliant. Right, let's grab a radiator, the normal size ones. Sweet. Otherwise, they're going to be freezing their balls off out in this garage. There we go. Uh oh. Either the game is saving or something's about to go horribly wrong. Okay, it was saving. Oh, you need to fix that frozen district. You're going to give me a bloody heart attack. All right, there we go. Sweet. Now I flipping love this room. <laughs> there we go. That is the Macabre Gamers rustic wooden cactus-filled bedroom. Hopefully it turned out okay and you uh, like this room, the Macabre Gamer. If not, feel free to let me know. I can always take criticism. I'm not a baby. I will probably cry though, just to let you know. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's get a nice spot for the thumbnail. There we 
we go. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, well, thanks for watching Wolfobets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time I think we will focus on the bathroom and uh, just, just touching some of the bits of the house up. Maybe start painting some walls and just making things look a bit more neat. Just doing a bunch of miscellaneous tasks as well as the bathroom because I don't think the bathroom will take too long. And then after that we'll probably be getting relatively close to finishing this, uh, this playthrough up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today.